based in Toronto, Canada, Canada, ugh, called Clocks and Colors. They specialize primarily in men's jewelry. However, there's also a, a sister company called Eat a Love. Same craftsmanship, same beautiful design, and same beautiful materials, but specialize in women's jewelry. And Vitali, or Vitali, that specializes in gender neutral and has a little bit more of a futuristic kind of design aesthetic to it. So there's something in this for everybody. Let me just set the stage for today, though. I don't review or talk about anything on my channel that I don't already love. And though I already planned this video a long time ago to share my passion with you for what they produce there, because it's really gorgeous stuff. I already planned it, but then I decided to reach out to them and I said, listen, I'm a YouTuber and I'm planning this video. Would you be interested in teaming up to do something? And they checked out my channel, they checked out kind of my philosophy and the artistry behind what I did and they thought, yeah, I could see this work. So if you're listening, Richard and Megan, I love you guys to pieces. You've been an absolute joy to work with. Thank you for being so patient with me as I spam them with probably too many emails that they could keep up with, but they've been super courteous about it. And so thank you to, you, to both of you. And uh, um, they have something, they've prepared something special for all of you guys watching today. And it's really awesome and special and I wish I could benefit from it too. A $500 gift to a lucky winner. I'm gonna give you all the details on how you can sign up for that yourself. You can check the timeline below. At the end, you're gonna see timestamps. You can skip straight to the details if you'd like at the end of the video, but I suggest you stick around because I'm gonna be sharing some fun stuff with you. And uh, to anybody who uh, subscribes to Clocks and Colors, which is a worthwhile subscription, it's not a spam subscription. I am allergic to spam. I would never do that to you. You get updated with beautiful stuff every week. Uh, I'm gonna give you a special discount code so you get 45, 45 bucks off your purchase, so. High five to me, you're welcome. So that being said, let me give you a quick rundown of the company and what they're all about, what to expect of them, and then I'm gonna take you through my collection and at the end, I'm gonna share with you an unboxing, a very special unboxing of something at the time I recorded it, I'd never seen. You're gonna see a, a wardrobe change at certain points in the video and that's because I've recorded this over a couple of different days. This is me coming in because I got a couple of new pieces here I wanted to share with you, okay? That I didn't have at the time. So. Clocks and Colors. Based in Toronto, Canada, they specialize mostly in 92.5 sterling silver jewelry, but although they do have stuff in 36L stainless steel, most of their stuff is silver though. And the majority of their stuff is rings, like men's stuff usually, rings, bracelets, pendants, and chains, but they also have merch. They sell hats. As you can see, there are Clocks and Colors hat right here. Hoodies, shirts, keychains, shot glasses, gorgeous hats. Whoa! I'm definitely gonna be looking to that. So there's a lot to check out. They have a huge collection. They update every single week with new stuff, which is one of the reasons why I'm glued to their Instagram feed, which I'm gonna link below as well. Uh, and all of this stuff is guaranteed for life. These are keepsakes. These are things you wanna keep for the rest of your life. So you're making an investment towards the future. Think of it that way. Okay, these, this isn't junk jewelry. This is stuff you're gonna show off with pride. So that's a rundown of the company. Oh yes, and they have, uh, they, their main hub is in Toronto. They have another hub in Portugal where they handle a lot of their EU customers because they ship internationally and the shipping is fantastic. So let me take you through my collection because I feel completely naked right now. And uh, I'll walk you through my rings, then my pendants and chains. And lastly, we're gonna look at the bracelets where I'm gonna unveil an unboxing live. At the time of the recording, I had never seen it before. All right, so let's start with one of my classic everyday pieces called Crossroads. The life of blues legend Robert Johnson is seeped in myth. Early in his career, Johnson was described as a decent harmonica player, but a terrible guitarist. Until one day, he disappeared and returned a few weeks later with jaw-dropping talent. Legend has it that Johnson took his guitar to the crossroads of highways 49 and 61 in Clarksdale, Mississippi where he traded his soul to the devil in exchange for total mastery of his craft. If you found yourself at those same crossroads, what would you ask for? Now let me give you a top-down view. I want you to have a nice close-up look to see what it looks like on a hand, like this, okay? Now I'm wearing it alone, but one of the I said this is one of my kind of everyday wear. This is my classic piece. It's a nice neutral size. Let me get it in focus here for you. Okay, it's a nice neutral size, and it's something I wear every day. It's got that classic, I wish, I w this is the ring I looked for my entire life. 
growing up. I always loved wearing onyx rings like this. And if you look again from the top down view, it's got that nice classic 1950s hot rod type of design to it. Onyx and silver always look really nice. Black and silver go really nicely together. Um, and the kind of ring that I wear all the time. This is basically my everyday wear when I'm not wearing anything else. This is called Crossroads. My next piece here is actually one of my favorites for multiple reasons. I wear this all the time as well. And this one's called Zen. Since the sixth century, the Buddhist practice of Zen has encouraged its disciples to look deep within themselves, examining the true nature of their mind and all things that surround them. Let this stackable set of bamboo and wave rings serve as your daily reminder that it's time you took a moment to bask in some much needed peace and tranquility. I'll show it to you close up. One of the things I like about Zen, or I'm lucky about, I was lucky to choose this in a size 12 because I have a lot of fingers that are size 11 and 12. So I can, I'm gonna try not to make this fly across the room. I can wear this on multiple different fingers. And there's multiple reasons why I like this. Number one, the fact that it's a stackable ring means that I can switch it depending on which rings I'm pairing this with. Pairing means wearing it with other rings. So if I'm wearing thinner rings or thicker ones, I can stack these up to make them, to make the sizes match a little bit more compatibly. But the other reason I like it is because, because it's a double ring, it breaks up the redundancy of single shaped rings, which creates a better sense of variety. So it's a very versatile ring and being a very nice classic minimalist design, it pretty much goes with everything. This is called Zen. This next ring is actually one of the subtlest rings that I have. This one's called Graveyard. Legend has it that you should always hold your breath while driving past a cemetery, lest you unknowingly breathe in the spirits of the dead. Now, Graveyard, we're showing you a top-down view if you look at it close up. It's very subtle details, but it's a, basically a stack of little tiny skulls. The details that go into this, the craftsmanship, is one of the things I love the most. I love the idea of having a master silver crafter based in Bali, by the way. Their silver crafters are based in Bali. All designs, by the way, are done in-house or in collaboration with other uh, artists as well, which I'll share with you. This makes me think, the stack of bones makes me think of the Bone Lord boss in Dark Souls 2. It kind of immediately makes me think of that. But if you're somebody who doesn't like to wear things that are too bold, things that are a little bit more simple, like a little statement ring, this is perfect. But I actually very often stack this ring with other rings to add more girth to the ring itself. So this one's called Graveyard. This next ring is actually quite brand new. It's just released. This one's called, if I can get it in focus, Tento. This ring is engraved with the shape of a tanto. These small blades were carried by samurai during battle and were the main weapon used to commit seppuku, a form of self-sacrifice in which the samurai would choose to end his own life and die with honor rather than fall into the hands of his enemy. Now tanto, I got this one sized for my pinky specifically because I wanted to be able to pair with other rings. So I, I'm very careful to very carefully pick and choose different sizes. There's a sizer on, the, on, their, on their page, on their website. You just scroll to the bottom. I'll show you in the clip over here. And you get a sizer, but anytime you buy a piece from them, be it a, uh, a ring or a bracelet or whatever, they will actually send you a little sizer that you're gonna get with them. So I have a whole stack of them because I've got, I've got a lot of rings from them, a lot of pieces. This has a very nice minimalist design. And I got the size specifically to be compatible with other rings as well. Let me show you another close-up of it so you can see it. Okay. And it's got a nice smooth feel. Remember these are sterling silver, so they've got this nice, beautiful, smooth finish, but the nice weight and temperature to it too, to it as well. So it feels very nice on the hand. I feel a lack of something when I don't wear it. Junk jewelry doesn't give you that feeling. Sterling silver does. So the craftsmanship doesn't only look good, it feels good. So once again, this is called Tanto. Let's go big and thick for this one. This big boy over here that fits my biggest finger, my right thumb, is called, let's get it in focus, Brimstone. Synonymous with God's wrath, fire and brimstone refers to the gruesome fate of the unfaithful. The fire portion is obvious enough, but brimstone is just another word for sulfur. The name comes from the sulfur dioxide that is released when lightning strikes the earth. 
so your divine punishment will take the fiery form of a lightning bolt from on high. And if that doesn't encourage good behavior, then we don't know what will. Now brimstone, as you can see here, has this very class, if you can see it, let me see if I got it the right, yeah, I've got it the right orientation, okay? Skulls and roses. This has the classic kind of graveyard, dark type of vibe to it, which if you know my art, lives in my, I live in that world of kind of dark fantasy and stuff like that. And um, this is a very thick, very impressively sized ring. Let me get it in focus so you can see it. There's a lot of mass to this, but look again, look at the beautiful rich detail that goes into this ring. And I've got this that specifically wears this thumb because it's a very big meaty thumb of mine. It's my, the biggest finger on my hand. So I wanted something that where I could really feel the weight of it and it really fits over my knuckle really nicely. So once again, this is called brimstone. The next ring is actually the first that's part of a collection, a designer collection. And this was designed in collaboration with the artist, Josh Russell. It's called Cherub Rock X. Designed in collaboration with Josh Russell, a British tattoo artist based in Chester, the Cherub Rock features a young angel wielding a Tommy gun. Inscribed with the word chaos running down the sides, this ring is for all of you mischievous hellions hiding under a sweet exterior. I love oval rings. It's, a, it's got a very classical feel to me. I was raised by a mother who wore a lot of oval rings. She's got beautiful jewelry as well. And this one, when I took this one out of the package, let me show it to you so you can see it close up. When I took this one out of the package, I was, there was a feeling of being impressed by the look and the feel and the polish. It's got the word chaos written along the side over here, if you can see it. It's nice lettering. And it's got a cherub holding a Tommy gun, very classical Tommy gun, right? Yeah. Right, with the hat. And um, one of the things I love about oval rings is that oval in particular allows the, allows the line of your finger to, to extend. A square ring might might separate and create a little, make the finger look a little bit shorter, but an oval ring tends to, tends to preserve the length of it. But look at that beautiful, beautiful masculine design. Cherub Rock X from the Josh Russell collection. This next piece is actually one of the first pieces that I ever got from Clocks and Colors. This one's called Desperado. Desperado a bold and reckless criminal of questionable moral character. It's good to have role models. Now there's history to this. The reason I got this was one of the first that I ever got was because when I went to see the movie Desperado with my friend Jimmy, we completely fell in love with it. Jimmy, who incidentally I interviewed right here, and if you check out his, finger, his wrist and his fingers, he's actually wearing clocks and colors pieces in that interview. He, he knew about them long before I did. And I got this piece because it reminded me of him. When we went to see it, we ended up getting one of these big gulps of Coke. I've never touched that shit now. But um, we got these big gulps and we both had to, I don't know why I'm sharing this story. I'm gonna regret this. We both had to relieve ourselves in the laneway on our way home. So we wrote the word desperado with remarkably good penmanship, if you can call it penmanship. Why am I telling you this? In the laneway, on the wall. So it, we have this kind of so we have this history with the, with the movie Desperado. This has that very classic, makes me think of the band Calexico. You know, it's kind of, cow, kind of Mexican cowboy type of vibe to it. And it very much reminds me of the movie Desperado. It's kind of that, that kind of Antonio Banderas type of, type of design to it. Completely in love with this. And it's one of the only pieces that I have to date that actually has a stone. This is a turquoise stone, but they have tiger's eye. They have a lot of different stones of different colors, all of which are harmonized very nicely together. This one, once again, is called Desperado. Now, the next one I want to share with you is another one of my stackable rings. This one is called, if I can get it on my finger, ugh, this one's called Tierce. Taking its name from the Latin word three, these stackable rings are substantial enough to wear on individual fingers, but form a well-textured trifecta when worn together. Now, I originally got this ring for my thumb, okay? And I still wear it on my thumb because it's a size 12, um, but so is this finger. This finger and this thumb both have the same size knuckle here. And this is another one of these stackable rings that you can pull apart and you can wear with different fingers and stuff like that. You can see that it looks really nicely, really nice when you separate them. But again, I like to stack these together 
because I would wear a ring like this with, for instance, let's say if I put it like this in this finger, and I wear it with the Desperado, because you can see from a thickness perspective, they kind of match a little bit more. If I did something like this, one kind of overpowers the other. Although, you can very much do that if that's your style, mixing sizes to create more of a sense of variety. And I love the texture difference, and if you look at them close up, it has a square design on two of them, and a round design on the other, which is one of the reasons why, see this one's round, so it's two square and a round. This is one of the reasons why I might sometimes take this off and pair this one, the round one, with Graveyard. See? So it adds a little bit of a texture variety and these two match perfectly together. So there's a lot of mixing and matching that you can do with these rings as well. There you go. So once again, this one's called Tears. The last ring in my collection is probably the boldest and most substantial. I, I want to get more like this because there's nothing beats the feeling, especially on a guy's hand, nothing beats the feeling of a bold, massive ring. And this one's called Watery Grave. This ring is not for the faint of heart. An octopus with a skull for a head may in fact be the stuff of nightmares. But those who know the sea know that there are monsters lurking in the depths that make this thing look like a golden retriever puppy. On that thought, maybe we'll stick to solid ground for the time being. Now tell me, let's look at the top-down view of this again. Tell me this doesn't impress the crap out of you. Just turn it around. If you're a Bloodborne fan, as I admittedly am on my channel, <laughs> then, then you know the whole Call of Cthulhu type of thing uh, a type of vibe, the whole skull and the sea and the kraken and stuff like that. This has that kind of vibe to it. And if you look at the side, you've got these beautiful ships. Again, I can feel the artist's hand. Every one of these pieces are a little bit different because they're handcrafted pieces by master crafters. And if you look at the details and the way, one of the little details you might take for granted looking at this, so I can get it in focus, is how one of the tentacles wraps around the corner of the ring. That to me is stuff that actually matters. That's the kind of stuff that I love. So once again, this is called Watery Grave. Now at the time that I originally did this recording, I didn't own this bracelet. This is called Upstream. Now I'm gonna show you this in the top-down view because a beautiful sterling silver koi fish right here is the clasp and it wraps around, it's quite easy to get on. And if you wrap it around the back, one of the design features that I think is very thoughtful, it just goes to show from, especially from an an artist and concept artist perspective, the idea of having loose strands that wrap around the wrist. Isn't that just an elegant, very casual looking feature to it? I love leather and silver mixed together. And clocks and colors, if you're listening, I would, <clears throat> I love the idea of silver and leather together because sometimes wearing too many silver pieces together can get a bit redundant. So mixing it up and breaking that up with leather is a nice way of adding more jewelry without looking like you're you're suffering from over gold. If you've seen, I'm gonna get you sucker. I absolutely love this piece. It pairs lovely with a watch. If you wanna wear the watch a little bit higher up your wrist, it pairs beautifully with rings. It's a very elegant design that breaks up patterns lovely. And again, this one's called Upstream. This next piece is my first pendant that I'm gonna share with you. And this one's called Deathstalker X Slee Stack. Designed in collaboration with Toronto-based tattoo artist Sleestack, the Deathstalker is named after one of the world's most dangerous species of scorpions. Carrying an onyx stone between its pincers, this deadly pendant comes just shy of spitting venom. Now let me give you a nice close-up of this so you can have a look at it. This is a scorpion. And it's the first pendant that I purchased from them, and the reason being is I is a Scorpio. So shout out below if you're a Scorpio. Now I bought this originally for myself, but my daughter, Chloe, who's a fellow Scorpio, I was born November 7th, 1975. She was born on November 3rd. So everybody, everybody lavishes her with all the gifts and I get nothing anymore ever since she was born. Ugh, I'm kidding. <laughs> she kept looking at it going, oh dad, that's really beautiful. And I said, yes, I know it's beautiful. Stop eyeballing my bling, you know? She goes, oh, that's really lovely and everything like that. And I went, so she, she said, well, okay, okay, let me, let me, let me put it on for you. And I took it off and I put it around her neck and I went, holy smokes, that really does look good on her. And I said, okay, fine, you can have it. 
so I gave it to her. So this is officially Chloe's, but I borrowed it so you could see it. And this is made, this is another collaboration with the, tat, the, the very well-known Toronto-based uh, uh, um, tattoo artist, Sleestack. So this is an absolutely beautiful piece. And if you just so happen to own the Crossroads, they both have a lovely onyx stone that's very compatible together. So when she wears this, Chloe told me whenever, whenever she wears her Deathstalker, I always have to wear Crossroads so that we were matching in that regard. So once again, this one's called Deathstalker X Sleestack. This next pendant and chain is called Sorcerer. The sorcerer takes the form of a gnarled staff. Its menacing top is reminiscent of a horse's skull. If there is magic to be found here, you can be sure it's pure evil. Now one of the things I love about this, if you look at it up close, again, it's got that lovely gothic design to it, which I'm completely in love with. This is something that resonates into my work. It's lovely horse's skull kind of design with this gnarled, twisted staff to it. And one of the things I love about this necklace, the first thing I love is the fact that I love the, I, lo I always love necklaces that create a nice straight line. For a guy specifically, it helps to divide the chest and create a little bit more definition in the middle of the chest. But because it's a unique long design, it pairs very nicely with other pendants. So you have the round pendant next to a long pendant, if I can get them both in the shot here. So if I got both of these here, you've got a long pendant with a straight pendant. It's not as redundant. If you have multiple kind of rounder shaped pendants, it tends to create a little bit of repetition in it, but this breaks up the pattern. And this is one of the reasons why I like to pair this with a lot of my other necklaces. But this is a very nice, simple, minimalistic design that doesn't call too much attention to itself. So it's just like a nice accent to everything else. Once again, this one's called Sorcerer. My last and most commonly worn necklace, my everyday necklace, for multiple reasons, is called High Noon. For the gunslingers of the Wild West, the phrase High Noon referred to a deadly standoff, where arguments of all variety were settled and only one person would be left standing. With this pendant, we're pitting heaven and hell against each other. May the quickest draw win. Now there's multiple reasons. Number one, one of the things I love about this is that it's very weighty. There's two pendants on this, so it hangs with a little bit more weight. It's also a slightly longer chain. Pay attention when you're buying necklaces, if you're looking at the necklaces, the different lengths. Because different lengths, it hang, not all of these chains, as you notice, hang at the same length. This one actually hangs a little bit lower. But I actually find that the clasp design is really nice because it's a very rounded clasp. Let me see if I can get that in focus for you. It's a little skull. And I actually like the way that feels, the clasp itself, when it when it, it ends up rolling around to the front. I love that. And let me just give you a moment to appreciate some of this incredible intricacy of design in this skull. And the weight and the quality, not only that, silver. You know you have sterling silver because it resonates really nicely. If you look at those old videos, those old black and whites, there's always be a guy flicking a coin, ping, and catches it, ping, and it had this ping, this real, sheen sound to it. Only sterling silver does that. If you look at modern coins, if you flick a modern coin, it goes dink, because it's full of a lot of different alloys. So sterling silver has a lovely resonance. It sounds really nicely when you're walking around with it. And they even happen to have a, I'm gonna be getting one of their keychains, this little skull keychain. And I love that because just walking around jingling your keys with the sound, I like the, it, there's, there's a auditory experience to wearing this as well. So last but not least, this one's called High Noon. Now, Let's break into the bracelets. I know this video is long, but I got a lot to cover. But the first one I'm gonna share with you is one I wear all the time, and this one's called El Infierno. This custom chain link is inspired by the rich visual history of the Aztecs, with a detailed skull clasp resembling those used to signify the Tzompantli, loosely translating to a wall of skulls. A Tzompantli is a type of wooden rack used to publicly display human skulls most often those belonging to individuals who have been ritually sacrificed. A bone-chilling account from one Spanish explorer estimated that the largest Sompampli was a towering 30 meters tall and had as many as 136,000 skulls adorning its rungs. Before I put it on, let me give you a show of the detail that goes into this. Remember, this is handcrafted. Do you have any clue 
about the talent, all handcrafted, not to mention the weight and the way this feels on the wrist. But uh, this one in particular is kind of my everyday wear. And again, this one's called El Infierno. My next bracelet is another bracelet that I have history with my friend Jimmy with. He showed up at a house party once. We were to kind of get together with a bunch of friends. And he walked in the room with this bracelet and everybody went, holy smokes, where did that come from? That is one freaking gorgeous looking bracelet. And you'll see when you see it, okay? This is called Night Stalker. A collaboration with photographer Matt Barnes, Night Stalker is an unnerving nickname for his favorite animal, the panther. This solid silver cuff is as deadly as its namesake implies. Now, there's countless reasons why I absolutely love this. Now, I bought this, but I, I needed to get in touch with my friend Jimmy. And I said, Jimmy, uh, I'm in love with your bracelet. Because this is one of the pictures he showed me when I was showing my collection. I went, oh shit, that is really, 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 really gorgeous. And he said, and I said, I don't want to buy it because if we show up at a party together wearing the same bracelet, it's going to look kind of cringy. It's like wearing the same dress. <laughs> it's like, you don't want to do that. So I said, since he was the first to own this beautiful bracelet here, I'll show you on the top down camera so you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? That's just gorgeous. So once again, this bracelet's called Night Stalker. Now, la pièce de résistance. I've been waiting long and impatiently to unbox this for you. I am extremely excited. I'm so excited that I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it on the ground or something and <laughs> step on it and accidentally kick it into a sewer grate. So, so make sure there's no sewer grates around. No, okay, we're safe. So I'm going to unveil this in front of you, a very substantial piece. Oh, I'm gonna cut, I didn't cut deep enough. Gotta be careful. I'm going to go through and slice my finger off in the process. There you go. I am so excited. And boy, oh boy, is this package heavy. Whew! Whatever's in here is something else. So you can see the packaging. It comes in this minimalistic but very elegant package. I wouldn't want more packaging than this because when you own a whole bunch of pieces anyways, you're going to end up with a stack of boxes you don't know what to do with. But this is a very nice way to open up a piece. And inside, inside the box, there's another box. Actually, it's a sleeve. It's this lovely clocks and colors case. And it slips open. It feels a very similar to a, an Apple unboxing experience, that kind of feeling. I'm going to put this over the side. Welcome to the club. Zero Fs giving since 2013. A little bit of profanity for, for all y'all. The nice velvet interior. There you go. So we'll move this aside. And oh, I'm so freaking excited. You have no idea. You have no idea. To me, unveiling a piece like this is a very exciting experience. And when you buy a bracelet, it comes in this nice microfiber cloth that, that has a little bit of the thing. You all ready for this? Let's make sure we're in camera. I'm, I'm getting so excited. I'm not even paying attention to the camera itself. So let's have a look at this. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, this is even more beautiful than I thought. And holy smokes, this thing is this thing is heavy. <gasps> well, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Apparition. This oversized bracelet features embellished links and clasps shut with the skeletal form of Santa Muerte also known as Our Lady of Holy Death. This Mexican idol promises to deliver safe passage into the afterlife, but her guardianship is strictly reserved for her devotees. You better start praying. Well, I cannot express how excited I am. Look, uh, let's just have a quick look at the design before I actually put this on. I am spellbound by the beauty of this piece. Oh my God, this is, look at how freaking gorgeous this is. Oh! God, let me get it in focus. I'm not concentrating here. Look at that. Here. I know it's a bit upside down, just so you can see the details, like that. But it's got these little kind of like, two, it's like teeth almost, like these teeth marks that go around and it's so smooth on the skin too. So here's our, here's our brand new piece, Apparition. I'm completely in love with this. Yeah, no, I'm completely in love with it. That's all I can tell you. Now, 
the moment you've been waiting for, the big giveaway, the $500 giveaway at Clocks and Colors. If you wanna be eligible to win a $500 gift code to Clocks and Colors, then you're gonna to wanna to A, like this video, B, comment below, let me know which piece or pieces are your favorite down below, and you're going to want to subscribe to Clocks and Colors. And trust me, it is something you want to subscribe to. It's beautiful jewelry. There's no spam. There's none of that garbage that you get. It's just getting updates on beautiful new designs. So it's worth it. Go and sign up. If you're not going to get spammed or anything like that, I definitely recommend you check out their Instagram as well because they're always updating with... If you're interested in seeing more pictures of their jewelry that you don't necessarily see on the site itself, they have a really good Instagram where they're always updating with new stuff as well. Okay, so to repeat, like this video, comment below, and subscribe to Clocks and Colors. You can check out their full catalog of stuff. This is not by any chance, by any stretch, an exhaustive list. There's a lot of pieces that I didn't mention. And remember, they come out with new pieces every single week. I'm waiting for a piece that just came out a couple of days ago, and they just announced a new one today. This brand, brand new, beautiful uh, piece that actually has a green stone on it, something I've never seen them produce before. So thank you for bearing through all of this, and I will see you in my next video. Take care.